we return to Star Wars in a most delightfully peculiar way. Oh, welcome back. Happy holidays, everyone. Yes, we are going to be looking at some Star Wars programming here over the next couple of weeks as we lead into the holiday season. I am hard at work on so much. This year, no Kenner, as I am preparing so much more with my Kenner. But I am going to have plenty of Star Wars content over the next few weeks. And here we're looking at Hasbro's Black Series, Jean-Luc. I'm... Oh, Jorowick, you did it to me. You put that in my head and I couldn't get it out. Uh, this is the Ralph McQuarrie concept art for Obi-Wan Kenobi, or General Kenobi. And, of course, his nemesis, Darth Vader. And these are, as they would have appeared... In the early drafts and early concepts uh, drew, uh, produced by Ralph McQuarrie, the legendary concept artist who did all of the concept art for uh, the Star Wars movies. And I used a child had a, a set of his concept art from The Empire Strikes Back. And I was just mesmerized because I didn't understand what it quite was. But yes, of course, Jarl did plant this in my head. There's a resemblance to our favorite captain of the Enterprise. Of course, he rivals Kirk. I am an original series uh, man. But anyway, I, I can't believe I'm talking Star Trek in these Star Wars. Uh, but it was back in this concept art that the Jedi had not taken shape yet. It, it seemed like most people, oh, carried around lightsabers and there is Darth Vader with a bluish, dark blue tint. You can see with the concept art, he almost nailed it on the first time out. Of course, I'm sure there were... I, I believe there was so much more. I, I don't think I have it in me to, in this short video to get into all that was in the McQuarrie Art Gallery and all that could have been. There were so many designs. I believe Boba Fett was an early design for Darth Vader. I could be wrong about that, but there's been some conflicting reports. There are those out there who are far more knowledgeable than I in Star Wars. There's, as much as I do love it so. Uh, it does have a little bit of a tapered Batman-ish cape there, if you notice. I kind of like that. Uh, the Dark Lord here looks as menacing as ever. Darth Vader, what an imposing figure. Just an absolutely stunning artifact of joy. Both the Obi-Wan Kenobi and the Darth Vader here, in their, as they would have appeared in their concept uh, versions. I When I saw these came out, uh, I just couldn't believe what I was seeing because these were uh, things I, I I was so mesmerized by the concept art of Ralph McQuarrie. And do yourself a favor if there are those of you who are out there who have not heard the name Ralph McQuarrie, go look up his artwork. He didn't do just Star Wars, but his Star Wars concept art is peerless. Uh, there you see it is. You may recognize this pose uh, from some of his concept art, an early version of uh, what would become a stormtrooper brandishing a lightsaber was a present. But these two figures from the Star Wars, Hasbro's Star Wars Black series, I didn't really want to get into this line, and but I have to say, I discovered these and they are just stunning. They, I believe we're a Comic-Con exclusive at one point. I feel so out of uh, touch now. But anyway, we shall dim the lights as more Star Wars to come this month. Stay with us.
Jack, always a pleasure. Happy holidays, everyone. Jack back later this month. More artifacts of joy from Star Wars. Ta-ta for now.